Welcome back in Western Slope and uh, happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. Thank you for your service and everything that you do. We're going to be seeing clear conditions throughout the four corners for a beautiful day to enjoy Veterans Day. With a little bit of moisture tracking in off the northwest, this will arrive tomorrow with chances for showers and snow potential. Most of that snow potential is going to be off to the higher elevations over tree line. We're seeing a low pressure trough continue to press in from the northwest. This is going to be bringing in a cold front to decrease temperatures tomorrow compared to what we'll see today. Today, though, chilly temperatures in the 30s, walking out the door, getting the kids ready for school before mid 50s around lunchtime and then upper 50s shortly after that as you're headed home from work. Really nice temperatures today, actually, and clear skies to go with it. Check it out. Already seeing a beautiful sunrise on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. Temperatures right now, a little bit chilly out there in the lower 30s, so uh, a jacket will do you a favor. And then as you see those upper 50s return, can't really complain about that. Really nice temperatures this afternoon uh, and above freezing tonight as well. It's been a while since we've seen temperatures get above freezing in the overnights. It's been about a week and a half. But today, sunshine returns with those really nice temperatures. Shower pressing through tomorrow afternoon into the evening. We'll see upper 50s this afternoon around 2 o'clock for the warmest part of the day, gradually increasing from there. Haven't seen much at all on the satellite and radar as well. Not even clouds in the sky. We'll see a little bit of cloud coverage pressing through maybe this afternoon, but don't expect much for clouds today. Sunshine is going to be the key ingredient for the weather today before seeing uh, chances for showers in the afternoon tomorrow. Probably after 2 p.m. We'll see some storms initiate to the higher elevations drifting into the valleys. These are going to be those uh, kind of terrain driven showers. So whenever we see these, they're usually lighter precipitation. They don't last very long. Don't expect much, but if you do see something, don't expect it to last very long. Of course, to go with the rain potential, there's going to be some snow to the higher elevations as well. Uh, mostly just dry air continues today before we see uh, changes on the way tomorrow. Most of the snowfall will be off to the higher elevations in the central mountains. So Gunnison, Pitkin County seeing those chances for snow as well as uh, I-70 getting into Vail Pass as well. Not much snow is going to be expected. Maybe just a few inches here and there, six inches at the most for those higher elevations above tree line, but uh, not really much to expect for any kind of deep powder. We'll be seeing changes on the way though with temperatures dropping tomorrow. Today, upper 50s continue with tonight below freezing conditions everywhere except for probably the Grand Valley. And then tomorrow, here's those cooler temperatures. Seeing 40s and 50s take us throughout the day tomorrow as we'll see that cold front Press on in and decrease temperatures on that Discovery Auto 7 day forecast. We're seeing 50s pretty much all week before temperatures rise to the 60s on Friday and overnight lows below freezing except for tonight with Montrose a little bit cooler in the mid 50s today before 40s tomorrow and then temperatures increasing throughout the rest of the week.